Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys so very much. This is going to be another channel message reading. I should be back tomorrow with the tarot guys, okay? I should be back on with the tarot tomorrow, but this is going to be another channeled reading message. So, I wrote all the messages down, and I'm going to get right into your reading, guys. Okay? There's something about, um, there's something about uh, an ex of yours. This is a specific message for somebody watching. There's an ex of yours or ex of somebody watching this video that's getting arrested. And this ex is going to tell on everyone involved. This ex could have been dealing with crooked family. This ex could have been working against you behind the scenes with a karmic. But this ex got involved. This ex took a... It's almost like this ex took an oath or got a got a payout or a payment in order to, like, sacrifice you, take you out, okay? Get you caught up in the justice system, work against you. Or this ex was using your information. Somebody's ex could have got a whole insurance claim on, on someone here. And this is coming to the light as well. An ex that took an oath against you, an ex that lied on you and court or fabricated statements of, on you, an ex that tried to take your children, whatever the message is that is resonating with you, that this, these are all the messages that I'm getting. And for some of you guys, you guys got to be mindful that there's like this crooked mailman in someone's community that could be stealing someone's mail, important mail or letter, or this could be someone's neighbor doing this. They're going to get caught on camera trying to take your mail or not giving you your mail, okay? Someone here, like I said, gave false statements on you in the past. This person conspir conspired with a crooked mother or father figure or a crooked brother or sister, okay? And this um, ex could have slept with your cousin and they were working against you. This person that paid uh, for voodoo or hexes to be done on you guys. There's some sort of proof of conversations or receipts or a signed document that this person took an oath that was working with an Agent Smith, crooked cop, or lawyer entity. Okay, someone's last name could be Smith. This is their worst nightmare coming to the light. What they planned for you is now um, happening to them. Karmic justice is playing now. Somebody is secretly recording you. Okay, and somebody else could be um, selling your information on the dark web or somebody here is has some sort of video of someone and they're putting this video on the dark web getting money for this. Somebody here has a camera or a device in their home, okay, that was placed there by the landlord or property manager that's working with these individuals. Check your home for these devices if this is you. Somebody here, they're like keeping tabs on you, okay? They have um, people in this community spying on you, checking on you. They gossip, but at the same time, it's like um, they're, they're, they're gossiping about you, but there's other people that are admiring you right now, and your courage and your strength is what's bringing you um, all these amazing blessings that's coming into your life, okay? Somebody's coming towards you with an offer, and somebody else is low-key obsessing over you and they're trying to block this person from giving you an offer here. Okay, but you guys are natural-born leaders anyway. So much self-love is, is bringing you abundance. You're bossing up. Starting your new business or your business is blowing up. Making power moves right now. That's what you guys are focused on. Someone's coming home. Someone's being released from jail, from prison, or the army. Someone else is out on bail. Uh, somebody else is out on bail because somebody got picked up for being crooked or working with crooked officials. And um, this is coming out to the light. All eyes are on you at this time, okay? But you guys here, you could be very unbothered. You're not even noticing. Somebody is admiring you. Somebody is really admiring you. Somebody's asking people about you or they're like, somebody's really talking good about you around this karmic family member. Somebody could be giving you a lot of compliments talking very good about you and admiring your work. And there's a family member that is pissed off because this person's admiring you. And this family member that's triggered by your healing, this family member that could be triggered by something that you're you're doing or saying or the way you're living now. Okay, somebody is upset that you woke up to the truth. 
they're upset that you're no, no longer um, dealing with them anymore. There could have been, um, like I said before, a lot of manipulation tactics being used. Some of you guys could be experiencing bad headaches or you woke up today with a bad headache and you're like, you can't get rid of it. This is some sort of crown chakra uh, work they're doing on you, jar work they could be doing on you or psychic attacks, trying to block your psychic spiritual abilities. Okay. I heard the rapture too. Okay. So there's like the rapture. Get rid of negative people, get rid of anger or toxic patterns. The rapture is near. Heal your heart. And that's what I heard, so I wrote it down. Okay, there's a celebrity preacher or pastor that's being exposed. Um, or all these celebrity pastors or preachers, they literally sold out and they're under judgment, okay? And they're getting exposed. This is happening. This could be happening on social media. This could be happening in the news. This could just be happening in the spirit realm right now. These celebrity preachers, they're under judgment. I also heard um, Marcus Rogers for some reason. I don't know what he has to do with anything. Um, you guys are preparing. Um, you guys should be preparing your own spiritual baths, your own spiritual cleanses. Because be careful who you're um, paying to do these things for you. Because there's a dark empath out there somewhere in your life that's offering to do a spiritual cleanse for you or that you purchased a spiritual bath from or you could have purchased spiritual candles from this store or this person and they have dark energy onto them. So ever since you did this spiritual bath or ever since you got that candle, it seems like you were spiritually attacked. Be careful who you're buying these products from. If you get a spiritual candle, make sure you bless it. Make sure you use Florida water and you cleanse your candle with it before you even use it. And if you're getting a spiritual bath, please prepare them on your own. You have to prepare your own spiritual baths because that is very important at this time. You have the power to do your own spiritual bath. You are a healer and you can um, make the most powerful spiritual cleanse that anybody else can make for you. And that's a specific message for someone. Okay, someone here lied on you. Okay, so... Um, Somebody here lied on you because they're calling you to gossip or somebody's been calling you to gossip about other people or just gossip about whatever they're going through or just project their energy onto you or, you know, this person's venting to you, but this person's really keeping tabs on you. This person's going back to someone else and they're reporting everything that you guys are talking about to that other person. So say less. Stop having meaningless conversations with this person. If somebody's calling you for meaningless conversations or they're projecting or they're complaining, or they're uh, deflecting, then this person definitely doesn't have good intentions for you, okay? So just be mindful of that. There could be a separation or an ending or a divorce that could be happening for somebody watching this video over a betrayal, okay? Somebody here, you're gaining the strength and your abilities are increasing, and this person that's been holding on to your energy, keeping you stuck in a karmic cycle, they don't have good intentions for you. They're working against you with your family or they're working against you with their family and they're keeping you stuck in a karmic cycle and you feel like you have no way out, but you do, okay? Remove the blinders, stand your ground and move forward. Take a leap of faith into the unknown. The Most High God is going to bless you for it, okay? You're finding out the truth and you know the truth. This person is very toxic. This person could be very controlling or somebody's just very detached from you if you're in a relationship and this is a specific message for someone watching or you're being guided to like you know kind of let go of this person in your energy that's not making you feel happy or they're playing emotional mind games with you this person is keeping secrets or having an affair you know they've been doing this and you probably know about them having an affair in the past it's time for you to end this karmic cycle so you can receive your blessings okay waking up to the truth Someone watching this video, you could be finding out secrets about your father, that your father had uh, dark intentions towards you, that your father orchestrated abandonment, that your father um, could have had a dark agenda onto your life, a dark warlock energy, that your father um, didn't really tell you the truth about uh, your real father. Mm, that's a specific message for someone. Your father always knew they weren't your real father, so they took an agenda to sacrifice you and uh, put you through some orchestrated uh, abandonment, orchestrated trauma. Yeah, that mess this message is for somebody out there. You're going to find out the truth. 
that this father is was planning to keep the secret. You know, this father's planning to keep that secret and take it to the grave. Okay, but your ancestors are shedding light on a situation. They're wanting you to do your research and ask questions and get the truth. Even if you have to get a DNA sample from this father, you need to get the truth so you can heal. That's a specific message. There's a masculine energy that's coming to reunite with an empress watching this video. Your divine masculine is coming to reunite with you. And this person feels like it's too late. Is it too late to come towards you? Okay, but you are somebody watching this video. You could be manifesting this union to happen. You could be heavily dreaming about this person or having constant telepathic communication with this person. But this person is thinking that you won't accept them. But you are literally manifesting this person to come towards you. Every time this person wakes up, the first thing they think about is you. Or every time you wake up, you have a sudden thought about this person. That's because union is near, okay? Two people are coming together. If you're seeing ladybugs, fireflies, dragonflies, okay? You could be seeing um, a white swan or, or, or you could be seeing a, a white dove. This is a sign of, uh, this could be a sign of soulmate union happening for someone watching, okay? I picked up on um, South Africa. Something is going on in South Africa or in Africa with some tyrants. The tyrants in Africa are being dismantled. Africa is going to take back their land. These people are going to be removed from um, authority positions, okay? Africa is taking control back of their land, yeah, there's some tyrants being removed from Africa, and you guys could be hearing about this. Someone could be from Africa watching this video. There's something going on in Africa where Africa is actually going to be the most powerful country, okay? Africa is going to be the most wealthiest country because there's going to be some sort of um, tyrants that are being removed or exposed from South Africa or Africa or African people are being, um, it's almost like, African people, okay, have been oppressed for so long because that the African natives, they're our ancestors. They are the ones that were uh, basically that found this land or discovered this land, okay? It's like all the, the world's riches and resources and diamonds, they all come from Africa, okay? So like I said before, something is happening with Africa. Africa's being liberated, okay? That's what I'm also getting with that message, I heard the name Colleen, Kevin, Zariah, Zariah, I heard, or Naraya. I heard Natasha, Natalie, Nate, or Nathaniel, Taisha, or Tanisha, Tisha, Norman, Norma, Kenny, Kenneth, Terrell, Brian, Juan, Joel, or Brandy. I heard Natalie or Brian. This is the names that I got for this channel message. I hope this message helps somebody out there watching. I love you guys so much. If you guys need a personal reading, reach out to me. My email is down below. Thank you so much for your love, support, for your likes and shares. For you subscribing to the channel, thank you so much. May God bless you guys tenfold. Till the next time, my loves. Namaste.